What's going on everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about cryptocurrency. I have only covered it once on my channel and I wanted to jump on here to just talk to you guys about exactly what I see going on all over the internet and the interest in these altcoins. We're going to go over a few of them that have been really, really popular. Okay. And also how to buy them and what to watch out for. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. For those of you that are new to the channel, all I ask is that you hit the like button and subscribe and join the family. And if you're interested, and joining our private community first link in the description i do want to mention to you because most of what i talk about is stocks i'm a big believer in stocks i do have a small position in, of my portfolio in cryptocurrency it is probably not something that i would have done on my own i am I'm, i own a marketing business that is where most of my income comes from and i take that income and pump it into the stock market and real estate to build that long lasting true wealth for myself and my family and one of the individuals that had said to, said to me in October, you know, his name is, I'm going to switch over. His name is Alex Becker. If you're into marketing, I'm sure you've heard of him. He said, listen, you got to buy Bitcoin. This was in October. And I saw what was going on in the government. I saw the presidential election, the uncertainty, what was going on. And I said, you know what? I'm looking at this chart. It was not something that I got into ever since that 2016, 2017 spike. And I said, it's sitting at support. Let me take some money, pump it over to them. And since then I have just let it ride. I do have friends that trade cryptos, all different cryptos all day long, and they make an absolute killing of it. Personally, I just take my knowledge and my resources and pump it into the stock market. However, the reason why I'm also making this video is because cryptocurrency has outpaced the stock market in 2021. One thing that I am beginning to see is a little bit of euphoria. And that is the same thing that we saw um, back in December, January, when it came to the EV stocks, the high growth stocks, the penny stocks that were already ridden, seemed like at that time, anybody could pick a stock, it would ride up 50% and you would be golden. However, a lot of large investors saw that and pumped their money out of that sector of the market into other value stocks, as well as stocks that were beaten down of COVID-19. So just keep that in mind when it comes to investing in these cryptocurrencies. So the first one we are going to be talking about this is one that I see talking about all over. It's the Shiba token. This is decentralized meme tokens that grew into a vibrant ecosystem, okay? Shiba is an, an experiment in decentralized, spontaneous community building. The SHIB token is our first token and allows users to hold billions or even trillions of them. It's nicknamed the Dogecoin killer. Uh, it talks a little bit about this. The website is fairly new. They did upgrade upgrade it, which is a good sign. This started off a long time ago in 2013, I believe, and the software developers really kind of uh, pulled away from it, didn't really pump much interest in it because it's not the hardest thing to be able to create um, an altcoin, but it's very hard to be able to nurture it and maintain it as if it's a, a, a vibrant, you know, insane business. And the developers have gone back into it to be able to upgrade it and really nurture this. So that's why it's really starting to take off as well as Elon Musk pumping this over Twitter, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. So let's take a look at just where it stands. It is currently well, well under a penny. It has a high of that you know what's it, five zeros four one seven recently got down to that two four five in just the last 24 hour period in order to buy this i believe there are a few different ways one of the most popular ways is to purchase ethereum transfer that over into your wallet and then use uniswap to be able to transfer that into the shibu inu coin okay next one we are going to talk about which has already done really well is safe moon uh this was an article written by investor place which actually picked up seemed like it picked up a, a good amount of traction and this article was just written yesterday last week we saw dogecoin rocket to the moon or at least to an all-time high above 40 cents which already had a valuation a market cap valuation i believe it was about 50 to 55 billion all right and that is about 120th compared to what bitcoin is at and bitcoin was traded you know at that fifty six thousand dollar mark and the reason why is because there's only 21 million coins that are ever going to exist okay but just keep that in mind i'm going to digress really quickly i know a lot of people talk about the exact price points but the market cap is what really matters when it comes to stocks or cryptocurrency okay but safe moon it is a newly launched token uh, i talked a little bit about it and it was just launched in the first quarter of 2021 However, they do have some price comparisons and it expects it to end 100% higher than it trades for now by the end of 2021 and potentially 300% higher for the end of 2025. All right, so this is another one you can potentially look into. Next one, we are, or this 
is the website. Sorry, guys. Uh, it talks a little bit about it. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is the Pika coin. This was brought to me by somebody in our private community. She said she made some good money on it. This individual is uh, is an awesome trader and she short stocks. I hope you're watching this video because you probably know exactly uh, that I'm talking about you. And she played this very, very well. She got into it and got out of it, uh, made some money and kind of moved on from it from there. This is a pretty good website, explains it a little bit further. And same thing, there are some hurdles you have to jump through in order to be able to buy it. Like it says, buy some Ethereum, go to Uniswap link, and then transfer it over, okay? Next thing we are going to talk about, and I really want to bring this up, guys, because I don't want to see anybody chasing. I hate it when I see people chasing, especially when they're investing a large portion of their portfolio or just any type of dollar amount that it would be valuable to use, okay? So right here, like I stated earlier in this video, guys, Creating altcoins is easy, maintaining one is not, all right? And this is a very good video, or an article, I'm sorry, as I'm having a hard time scrolling. An article that explains it, and this was all the way back to 2017. Love them or hate them, there's a lot of altcoins in the crypto economy, okay? And this is 2017, already 700 different kinds of cryptocurrency. It explains all about them, what they are, call them what you will, potentially in irrelevant pump and dump schemes. However, they have taken much more traction, and I believe it is gonna continue to tra take traction. So. Do I find it valuable to potentially invest a few bucks to see where it goes years down the road? Absolutely, but only do an amount that you are willing to use, all right? So this talks about it creating them, the background of it, how it works, and one thing I really just want to point out to you is quite a bit of altcoins in existence started as a stealthy ninja launch and what's called a pre a pre-mine or insta mine. This means the creators mine the coins by themselves for a period of time reaping a great percentage of the tokens now you do see on other websites and i'm gonna i think it was no i think it was safe moon or or what was it this one that says that they're locked the admin keys are burned and so forth okay but i'm sure there's still a position a huge position that these uh creators keep to themselves and people find these pre-mines very controversial as developed state the funds go towards marketing and developmental but typically get dumped onto the market and then when a large holder dumps their tokens on the market, that's when the price typically crashes. A lot of these altcoins will not stay in existence. And the reason being is because the infrastructure that is needed in order to maintain them and nurture them in order for the growth to continue is just too much that these creators can hang on to and they're not prepared for it. So my theory and my whole hypothesis behind this is right now, this is where the getting is. So when the getting is good, get in. Just make sure you get in with a comfortable amount, make sure you get in at a good price point, and then make sure you get out, okay? Or if it's a very, very low one, like some of these coins I had mentioned, well under a penny, if you could afford to take $100, maybe $200, maybe $500, or whatever you feel comfortable with, pumping it into, letting it sit there and see exactly what happens in five years. Because that $500 investment, if there is good, you know, solid development behind these, Okay, and the ecosystems truly grow, that five hundred dollars can turn into ten thousand, twenty thousand, potentially thirty thousand, if not more, years down the road. I mean, look at what happened with Bitcoin. You know, there's a a, a post going on on Twitter of a gentleman in 2011 saying it's staying stagnant at fourteen dollars, fourteen dollars, and he got out of it. So that opportunity. However, don't go chasing. If you only have five hundred bucks to your name, it might not be the best idea to just dump it on it. Okay, so. That's it for this video, guys. Just want to bring it up because I could see, like, see a lot of people talking about it. And after going through this in many different times throughout the market, and especially as social media and the internet uh, and all these, you know, platforms, you know, bring the uh, interest of all these different, um, you know, people getting interested in investing and, and trying to make money, you could see that euphoria. And, I, and I've I witnessed it in the EV and the penny stock area, and I'm starting to kind of see it now. So just keep that in the back of your mind because inevitably I want to see everybody make money. Yes, it is amazing to, you know, when you hear somebody invest, you know, $5,000 <clears> and it turns into a million. I think that's awesome. Um, however, that doesn't happen all the time into the majority of people that doesn't happen. So being able to take your money, pump it into the market, pump it into crypto to be able to build true, true wealth and see your portfolio move up steadily is exactly what I'm here to help you guys do. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.